Congressman Gottheimer, welcome back to Picks on Politics and happy holidays. Thanks for having me. You Great too. to have you. Uh, let's hop right into it. You've been a longtime opponent of the MTA's congestion pricing plan, saying it's unfair to New Jersey drivers. You found a lot of common cause with Republican colleagues. This week, you were standing with Congressman Mike Lawler from the Hudson Valley to speak out about the impact on small businesses. How will those businesses feel it? I've, I've heard from countless small businesses in New York. I'm not talking about Jersey ones. I'm talking about New York small businesses who are trying to make ends meet, who are rightly petrified of the impact it's going to have on their businesses. Because if you're a hardworking Jersey commuter or someone who's going in to see the Christmas tree or grab dinner with friends or family, and suddenly you're not only paying 17 bucks to go over the GW Bridge in a toll or paying 50 bucks to park plus gas, you now have a new congestion tax bill on your plate of $15 to go over the GW Bridge and $22 if you don't have an easy pass. And I think you, you look at those numbers, and I think all of our these small businesses in, in New York are saying, how are people going to afford to pay $100 before they even get a beer at our restaurant? And, uh, and I think they are a right to be worried. I think businesses who are trying to get their workers back in to commute every day are right to be worried. Those dry cleaners and all the restaurants and stores should be concerned. And that's why they've reached out to me and the, and the Chamber of Commerce has in Manhattan as well to say, please, we got to do anything we can to stop this. Because just because the MTA is a complete and total mismanaged disaster, people, hardworking people shouldn't have to pay the price for that. Well, so this is moving forward by all accounts. I mean, we've been talking about this when it's gotten serious over the course of the last year. The $15 peak toll for drivers really uh, appears to be kind of kind of going ahead. So let's get down to brass tacks. Is it time for New Jersey to move forward with either incentives for people to stay in Jersey or to toll New Yorkers going in the other direction? Well, there's two major, first of all, there's two major lawsuits going on. The state of New Jersey has uh, sued the federal government, the Department of Transportation, to force New York to actually do more research on their initial report, which said this congestion tax is going to lead to plumes of cancer-causing pollution coming out of trucks backed up at the GW Bridge and cars backed up at the tunnels, because they admit in their, literally in their own report that this is going to lead to massive new pollution problems for northern New Jersey and the outer boroughs. And Staten and, Island, for that matter. And, and for Staten Island, and, and frankly, uh, lots of parts of New York that are not south of 60th Street are going to be facing a lot more traffic, including north of 60th Street and a lot more pollution, not to mention actually more traffic. So it doesn't solve congestion. It leads to more traffic, and it's actually going to lead to more cancer-causing pollution, and these lawsuits are dealing with that. In the meantime, if they go forward, and, and you said $15, just so everyone understands, in the fine print of what the MTA approved this week, they also allowed for what's called gridlock alert days. It's like surge pricing. When, whenever the MTA in New York decide, they can actually add 25 percent on top of the 15 Like when the U.N.'s in session, for example. Right. There's, they, they laid out examples of 18 or 20 days, I think, of days they might add higher than 25 percent surcharge to. They also gave themselves room to increase the congestion tax by 10 percent next year. So let's, so let's re refocus a little bit, though. Is New Jersey going to incentivize Jersey businesses to keep people in New Jersey or work remote and do a reverse tax of any kind? So what I've recommended is what we're calling stay in Jersey, to give more tax incentives to New York businesses who decide to open up a shop, a satellite office, or move over fully to Jersey and say, you want to move over here? New Jersey will get to keep the tax revenue, and they'll make life a lot easier for all those uh, New Jersey commuters who normally go into New York to stay in Jersey, to work from Jersey, to support local businesses. I think that's the right move. And, I, and listen, New York's doing it to themselves, which blows my mind. I understand we've had all this cooperation with the Port Authority for years, but they're deciding to actually force Jersey commuters to stay. The problem is for those who can't, the nurses, the electricians, right, the, the cops, the firefighters, who have to drive into New York, right? they've got no choice, and they're going to have to pay a fortune. You're talking about $4,000 a year minimum to commute on top of what they're paying already. What about legislation? I, I know you, you've talked about doing something at the federal level for a long time. Doesn't look like that could get through the Senate. And in fact, to be frank, it doesn't look like anything short of Republican control in D.C., with all due respect, could solve this problem. So is there anything legislatively that could be done? Well, we've put forth by, as you mentioned, with, with members of the House, Democrats and Republicans, we've put forth several pieces of legislation that say to the MTA, if you're going to move forward with this, then you also shouldn't get the $2 billion a year you get from federal taxpayers to help pay the bills of the MTA, which, as you know, 
loses more than a billion dollars a year. Governor Hochul's talked about how this is really just about the congestion tax, the cash grab to help New York, to help the MTA fill the hole. They lost seven hundred million dollars last year alone to fare skippers, to people who literally didn't pay to ride. It's it's a complete debacle. But they need the cash, and they think Jersey should pay for it. Let me put the question this way: If you were governor. How would you be working to solve the problem? Is Governor Murphy doing enough in this moment, or should he be pushing back more firmly? Well, I think he's been out there very strong. I think he's put forward the lawsuit. I think he'll continue to do litigation. I think he's trying to do everything humanly possible right now. So I, I think there's going to be time when you look at the Port Authority and say, because the impact on the Port Authority is going to be severe, you're going to have it's going to affect their budgets as well. And it's supposed to be a cooperative relationship. I think this is going to affect, and I'm sure the Governor Murphy is thinking about this, this is going to really affect the cooperative relationship. You know, New York wants lots of things for us to help out at airports, ports, um, and, and other things, JFK, LaGuardia, other things in New York that, that they want our support on. And I don't know if I were the governor of uh, Jersey right now, if I'd be giving them any of that support until they change their tune on this. We've had a great cooperative relationship for 100 plus years. I think you got to sit down and say, this is not a, a sign of friendship or cooperation. This is a sign of desperation sticking it to us to pay the bills for your own mismanagement. So a potential governor, theoretically, Gottheimer, would maybe be a little bit tougher on New York. Congressman Gottheimer will have to leave it there. Thank you very well, much. I'll say this. I, uh, before you get out that last word, I'm going to say that I think Governor Murphy's been incredibly tough. Okay. I think that if, if I were also involved, I think the only way to do it is to be tough because clearly New York apparently doesn't, Governor Hochul and, and John O'Leary of the MTA don't care a bit about what's good for New Jersey, but also for their own residents and own small businesses. So I'd say to them, hey, look in the mirror, help fix your own problems. Stop giving the Buffalo Bill $600 million for a stadium. Fix your mass transit, fix your right, own we, problems. We do have to leave it there, but I will give you the last word. No further commentary from me, and I will say thank you, Congressman Gottheimer. Thanks. Good to see you. Have a great day.